So, it is the Premiership fin well, semi-finals this weekend. And as you know, we have, well, there's only four teams that can be played. And we have the London Warriors, Tamworth Phoenix, Manchester Titans, and the Bristol Aztecs. Now, let's talk about the teams that are from the North Division first. So in, from the North Division, we have Manchester Titans, who have scored 510 points in the season, and they have conceded 81 points. Compared to Tamworth Phoenix, who scored 452 points and have conceded 93. Now, that's great. Hey, look, looking at it and seeing that, that is absolutely fantastic for both teams. They have played all 10 games and just to have those type of um, points for is ridiculous. And to have your defense keep the scores well throughout the whole season, you've only conceded, you've conceded under 100 points. That is fantastic. Now, comparing that to the teams that are in that division, no, this, no offense, but again, most of the scores were racked up. They were stat pads. Um, so in that division, in the Premiership North, you had two other teams that scored over 200 points, and you had one team that scored over 170 70 points. But then you had the one team that had only scored 27 points throughout the whole entire season. Now, if we look at those teams' points for, you can kind of see where the differ differential is. Third place, they conceded 210 points. Fourth place, 309. Fifth place, 333 points. And last place, 600. Last place, um, conceded 621 points. So you can see where the. So again, as great as the points for for the two teams that are in the playoffs. Is not, you know, is the North really strong or is the North just have bad teams that can't play defense or do they have the numbers to play teams? But we don't know. So we will leave that for now. But that's the two teams in North, Manchester Titans and Tamworth Phoenix. Now for the teams that are in the South. So in the South, we have London Warriors who scored 384 points. And that, from that, they did have two games forfeited so maybe the score would have been higher but again that's what they scored within 10 games and they only conceded 49 points now that was more interesting as to the fact that most of the points came from the second team in the division which is Bristol Aztecs and Bristol Aztecs scored 288 points and they conceded 135 points so you know when you see it you're just like okay there's a lot of hair in there but bristol aztecs did something that they haven't done in a very very long time and they've made the playoffs they haven't made the playoffs since 2014 when baffa changed the rules from it being four teams that made playoffs to make only two so you know this is a great achievement for all the teams that have made playoffs even more so for Bristol Aztecs and Manchester Titans who Manchester Titans won their division for the first time ever and Bristol Aztecs have finally made it back to the, um, to the playoffs once again. Now we're going to talk about the matchups. So firstly we're going to go off with the Manchester Titans versus the Bristol Aztecs. Now these two teams, this is the first time that they have ever met. They've never met each other before. This is going to be a new type of um, new type of game. So I'm pretty excited to see how this game goes. Now, for me, I feel that this game is going to come down to defense. Whose defense is better? Who has that bend but not break defense? Um, because again, for a lot of people, this is the interesting one because not everyone thinks that the North is great um, so if they do win this game then it will be interesting to see but 
it is all about the defense for Bristol and the defense of Manchester Tyres. Yes, I feel that their offense, both teams will be able to score points. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to watch. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to catch it up on my U on YouTube on my phone while I watch the other semi-final game down in London. But it's going to look. It's hard to say. It is hard to say. You've got a QB that can move, a QB that gave a lot of teams trouble. Um, Manchester have a great outfit. Um, I'm, they've, I've played them in Division 1. They've got a great outfit. They've got a great system. And look, look what happened this year. They came in, they took control of the North Division and they ran, they ran with it. So this playoff game is a... It's going, to be, it's, it's going to be history making regardless for both Manchester and Bristol, whoever wins the game, because neither, te neither team have been to the Premiership Finals before. So it's definitely something special for either, both sides of the ball. It's going to be a fantastic game. And I need to decide who would I put in the final? Who would get that edge over? Um, it's difficult. It is very difficult to say who I would give this win to. In most sense, I would genuinely go ahead and look at the stats. Uh, the stats are obviously there. They're giving me ideas. But I am going to go as much as a lot of people are going to hate it. I feel like it will be down to a potential field goal to win this game. It's not going to be a blowout. Um... I don't think there will be any blowouts in this playoffs run at all. Um, but a touchdown, a touchdown difference, and it's going to be one of those miracle. It's going to be one of those amazing plays that comes from the QB of Bristol. Um, I feel like they're just going to have that little edge. They're going to have that little edge with the QB that is super mobile, that is difficult to tackle at times. So. Yeah, I think that's what that's what that's what the case is gonna be. It's gonna be down to the QB, um, in the final couple of plays, just making that final crucial, must needed touchdown. So in my eyes, it's gonna be a touchdown win for Bristol, going into the finals for the first time ever in their franchise history in the Premiership. Now we move on to the game that we normally see for the finals. <laughs> We normally see for the, we've seen for the finals for the last two Brit Bowl finals, uh, London Warriors versus Tamworth Phoenix. Now, normally these teams would even meet before 2017, where the last time they met in the semi-finals was 2017, where Tamworth beat the London Warriors. Um, so that is a very interesting one. Oh wow. Why is that happening? Um, so, yeah, there we go. Tamworth beating what Warriors at that time in 2017 was when they were also playing in the European League, the EFF, EFL, EFF. I can't remember what it was. It is, I think it is still now. But they were competing in EFF, so they played on Saturday. They played on Sunday, so that was a bit of a tricky one. But they still made the playoffs. They still play Tamworth, lost to Tamworth, but at that time, that was the last time that the London Warriors lost the game in Britball. London Warriors haven't lost the game in Britball since that finals. So, since 2018 onwards, they have not lost the game. Tamworth have lost games. They have won games. And it's... It, it's hard. It is hard. Um... So, with this season itself, London Warriors start off slow. Every single game that they've played, the opposition always scores first. And then they just get back into the game and they end up taking over. Now, the main question is, if the London Warriors start slow on Sunday, can Tamworth Phoenix hold on to the lead that they have? Can they keep the London Warriors off balance? Can they stop them from picking up momentum 
and will it affect how they go further on now that seems to be the potential key just can you keep the warriors with off their momentum and stop them from building momentum and can you just keep scoring because it seems that once the warriors get going the game is pretty much over and done with because their run game is strong their passing game is strong special teams is strong for crying out loud um but once they get going it's difficult to get them to stop now can the tamworth defense stop the offense or can the offense can the tamworth offense overpower the warriors defense it's going to be a fun game to watch for anyone that's watching if we're as a neutral this is going to be an absolute blinder of a game um if this game with the weather forecast what it's looking like the weather forecast says it's going to rain so that could even be a bigger factor going into this into this matchup it's going to be tricky it is going to be tricky and again if warriors if warriors win that is their what third final within when did they start winning? They started winning in 2012. So it would have been 10 years that they consistently made finals. 10 years they would have made the finals, well, 11. They've been in the finals pretty much every year apart from 2017. Since 2011, yes. Since 2011, apart from 2017, they haven't made the finals. So, the again, back to the question. Can Tamworth Phoenix hold off the London Warriors if they start slow? The London Warriors start slow, can they get back into the game? Can Tamworth Phoenix keep them off balance? Can they stop them from building their momentum? What is going to happen? What is going to come become of this game? Again, there's ballers on the Warriors side, there's ballers on the Tamworth side. Who's going to be that special player to switch it on and take control of the game take over who's going to be the what unit is going to be the best unit is tamworth defense going to overpower the warriors offensive line will the warriors defensive line overpower the tamworth offensive line there's a lot of ifs buts who how who's going to take control of this these games it's going to be fun to watch it's going to be amazing it's going to be exciting and you know what? To pick a winner out of this game is going to be difficult. Um, it's definitely going to be difficult. But again, as I said, there's not going to be any blowouts. Apart from people on Instagram that have answered the questions and have said Warriors are going to have a running clock. And Warriors are going to win. They're going to just go straight to the finals. I don't know. I think it's going to be a tough game. Um, I feel like the game will probably be a field goal. I think it will be interesting for the neutrals to watch. I think the neutrals will enjoy it a lot more. It is definitely going to be a field goal that's going to separate the game. And I feel like that field goal is going to come sometime in the fourth quarter. Definitely within the fourth quarter to win it. And yeah, it's going to be interesting. But I am giving that win to the London Warriors um, by a field goal. They they do have home field advantage. They are used to, they just used to this field. They are ready to go. And again, even though they haven't played since July third, I feel like they have a lot of pent up frustration and anger to let out against Tamworth. Um, having two teams forfeit on you as well leaves a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths, and they want to dish out that pain to the opposition. So Tamworth good luck on the weekend because i don't know what's gonna happen i generally don't um warriors good luck on the weekend manchester titans good luck on the weekend and bristol aztecs good luck on the weekend because right now it could be anyone's game um but yeah so again even though i have made my predictions i do see the finals being an all premiership south um, contest and we're going to get to see the matchup once again of the London Warriors versus the Bristol Aztecs um, it was a fun matchup 
I have to admit, the first two games were fun. The first game was fun to watch. The second game was fun to read about and watch the highlights on Instagram. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you all are too. Let me know in the comments if you disagree with what I have said. I've gone with everything that I know, everything that I've seen, and that's just my views. So let me know if you agree, disagree, what you think the scores are going to be, who do you think is going to win, and who do you think is going to make the finals. And will anyone be able to, you know, win the championship? Will Bristol or Titans be able to knock off Tamworth and or Warriors? Who knows? But let me know in the comments. Let me know how you fit what you think. But thank you all for jumping in. And if you're going to the game on Sunday, I will put the locations of all the games in the, I'll put them in the location. So let me know and I will see you soon. Peace.